creating your own GitHub Docker container action, right? Everybody's doing this right now, and there are lots of different ways to do this and get the input, and there are a lot of unsafe ways to do this, uh, ways that you can really shoot yourself in the foot, um, not to mention making your life a lot more problematic. Um, and I, I'm i still new to this, so as I begin, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, <laughs> everybody's saying hi. Here are some things that I've discovered initially about GitHub Actions and how they're deployed and how they're implemented that I want people to consider. And right off the bat, I'm going to show you a deployment that ran where I ultimately decided to pass environment variables into the entry point of the container. This is specifically for, there's many ways you can do Docker containers. Uh, I mean, GitHub containers, but Docker containers are by far the best. And you can use your own runner and everything. But, but what I want to bring attention to here is you see here, I'm using the with keyword to pass input. Uh, which we'll get into how to define that in a second. And you can see that it follows the convention here by passing, you know, mounting, I guess, these environment variables using Docker run. And it call, it puts input underscore and it uppercases all of it and everything. But that's not all it does. It also passes, according to the specification, it also um, must require that you put an argument line down here. But if you keep going farther on, you start to see that it, when the implementation, um, you see that it passes it as an argument to the beginning. And this is extremely confusing if you're just coming at this. If, if when you see the term args as a Unix person, um, you immediately assume it's going to be you know, an argument and another argument and another argument passed to the command line. And I mean, by looking at this example again, you can imagine that I would have, in my case, if I had passed it with with, I would have had like five or six or seven of them, right? And then immediately the follow-up question to this is, well, how do I even get to the data, right? And and so let's go back to the other thing. Um, this is This is how you know, you would, so this is, which one are you going to use? So if you're a Unix person, you, at this point, you're at least a little bit confused, right? Because you're like, okay, how shall I use this data? How shall I process this in my entry point uh, file? By the way, don't call it entry point.sh. That just shows how little the people understood Unix who created actions. Um, you should never put a suffix on a, on a script like that ever. Um, and there's another rant about that. But so anyway, so this input, so you're like, which one is it? right? Am I going to use this environment variable in my script or am I going to use uh, the first positional parameter in my script? Which one is it? The answer is both. It uses both of them. And why the hell would you ever want to do that? I don't understand this at all. And you don't need to understand it because let me show you further. If you read on further down into the documentation here, you'll see that they actually warn you against doing it. They warn you against doing it, and they say, if you use the args line, it's down here below someplace, I'm going to find it again. If you use the args, you, you can put with here, right? That's how it gets used. Um, but if you use the args line, it actually uses the CMD format of the of, of the um, ex ex entry point executable, um, and, which is completely insecure. In fact, they encourage you to use... Uh, shell dash C, which I don't have in front of me right now, but you don't really need to know about any of that. Just don't do it. I'm serious. Don't do it. Do, do environment variables. The takeaway from this is very obvious and simple. Use environment variables, right? If you, if you do this instead of using, in fact, I've personally, unless somebody can strongly convince me otherwise, I am never using the with keyword in any custom action that I ever make. And the reason is I believe it encourages people to do things that are really grossly insecure uh, because of the way entry points are, are set up in Docker containers, uh, GitHub Actions, which is a, a really deep dive um, that it maybe we'll go to in another video. Um, uh, but yeah, so if they're meant to be sourced, I agree. Uh, so so the, the safer thing to do here is, and, and the more obvious thing to do, and the simpler thing is to just use the ENV 
uh, tag when you're creating your custom actions because this way you know exactly what they are. You name them what you want them to be named and you end up with scripts that get mounted. Look, see it mounts them. It mounts them using your, your environment variables and your entry points become much simpler because at that point you don't have to be as crazy uh, and you can make an entry point that this is a sample of the entry point, but instead of, I, I use the other one, right? But instead of using hello dollar one, you use dollar user and you end up with a shell script that's very reusable. In fact, there's no reason that I could not use this shell script and run it, you know, and test it without it being used in the context of GitHub Actions, which is kind of one of those things you want to consider. Do I even really need this to be a, a, a GitHub Action? right? So the, if you're going to use a Docker container, which is probably a good idea, then you can write your entry point and your, your you know, your Docker file can, can be uh, super simple as mine is. Your Docker file can just be super simple and it can call an entry point. And if you decide you need to put other things in there, for example, in my case, I'll probably be adding uh, SSH um, and I don't know what, maybe tar, if it's not already there in the Alpine one, I don't know, but if you needed to add stuff in there, you could, the point is, is this nice, happy entry point file, um, is now can be used anywhere, right? And it, it you, it's very easier. It's much easier to read because you've got, you've got, you know, actual environment variables in here that are just being called. Now, if you want to create your own prefix for that, fine. But as we saw, these, these environment variables are automatically passed using their exact names if you use the ENV directive in your custom actions. So the takeaway is very simple. Use environment variables, period. If you use environment variables, which is already a thing. And, and I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole of whether using environment variables is secure in the containerized world. It's been adopted as the standard for over 10 years at this point. Passing data through environment variables is the standard way to do it, including secrets. And if you just use environment variables, then you are not exposed to the security problems that are inherent when you use their with syntax and all of the crap that they do by passing positional parameters to the entry point script. You don't even have to read the section that talks about using shell dash C in order to get variable expansion because it's no longer relevant. You can just say goodbye, insecure, stupid practice and use environment variables as God intended when used with containers. If you're not doing this, make sure you know what you're doing, because I guarantee you that there are, are a lot of vulnerabilities out there right now that are doing entry points incorrectly and are subject to, to uh, shell injection attacks. And I may look forward to finding some of those. Avoid, avoid being hacked, just use environment variables.